Hello there and welcome to the first episode of this video series for the game of pods. My name is Vijan Palazi and this is Code Cloud. Subscribe to our channel for more challenges like this. In this episode, we will get introduced to the Drupal application. We will first understand what it is and how it works at a very high level. We will then proceed with a quick demo installation of Drupal using just Docker and then finally understand how it is to be set up using Kubernetes for this game scenario. Before we begin with Drupal, let's understand what a CMS is. CMS stands for Content Management System. Content Management System or CMS is a software platform that aids in the management of content on a website. Drupal is one of the most popular CMS solutions which is open source and free to use. In simple terms, it provides a software platform that enables regular, non-technical users to publish content on their website easily. The CMS stores several information assets such as text, images, databases, and so on. It has great standard features like easy content authoring, reliable performance, and excellent security. But what sets it apart is its flexibility. Modularity is one of its core principles. Its built-in tools help us build the versatile and structured content that dynamic web experiences need. Themes let us customize the layout and design of the website. Drupal can also be integrated with external services and other applications, making it one of the most powerful and scalable CMS solutions. While being extremely popular, being easy to set up and get started with, Drupal has a steep learning curve. There are several other simpler options out there that can be used as an alternative. WordPress and Joomla fall into this category. Drupal is used to make many of the websites and applications we use every day. A few popular examples are the NASA website, Emmy Awards, Verizon, and the Australian government website. Now that we know what Drupal is and what it does, let's move on to a demo installation using Docker. For simplicity, we will not use Docker Compose, Services, or Stacks in this demonstration. The installation makes use of two containers. The first container is the Drupal application itself. This container uses the Drupal latest or version 8 image. The other container is the DB container, which can be any of MySQL, Postgres, or MariaDB. In this demo, we will make use of Postgres. First, create the DB container as shown here. Make a note of environment variables used for Postgres. To keep things simple, we have used the same value called Postgres, all in lower cases, for the Postgres user, Postgres password, and Postgres database. The container also makes use of a bind mode called Drupal underscore data, which is mapped to path slash war slash lib slash Postgres SQL slash data on the container. Next, create the Drupal container itself using the syntax shown here. This container makes use of four bind mounts for different directories used by Drupal application. We have also linked the Postgres DB container to the Drupal container using the dash dash link option. The Drupal instance is port forwarded to the host port 80. Once both containers are up and running, Drupal can be launched by connecting to port 80 on the host or simply by launching a URL at HTTP localhost. When you launch the application for the first time, you should see the setup screen. Select English and then click on Save and Continue. In the Database Configuration section, make sure to select PostgreSQL as the DB type. Make use of the DB name DB user and password that were used for the environment variables while creating the DB container, which in our case is Postgres, 
all in lower cases. Next, click on Advanced Options and change the host from localhost to Drupal-Postgres, which is the name of the link we created while running the Drupal container. Click on Save and Continue to install the site. This completes the application installation. Let's now try to build this application using Kubernetes, using a more complex architecture. As part of this architecture, we will be making use of MySQL database instead of PostgreSQL that we used in the Docker example. Once you launch the scenario, go to the Quest application portal where you will be presented with an architecture diagram. Click on each item on the diagram to see the specification of the Kubernetes objects to be created. Remember to always click on the connector arrows. In some cases, they too contain a specification that must be created before you can complete the challenge. Here are the Kubernetes objects that we need to create. Persistent volumes. We would be making use of host path based persistent volumes for data persistence of both the containers. A secret object called Drupal-MySQL secret is to be used for storing the environment variables used for the database, namely the DB name, DB user, and the DB password. Deployment. Both the MySQL and Drupal instances are to be created as a deployment with one replica each. Service. The DB service should be set up as a cluster IP. However, the Drupal service is the front-end application that the users need to access from their browser and hence it should be exposed as a node port on the port 30095. Once you have created all the components as per the specification, click on the check button in the quest portal to validate your work. If everything has been set up as specified, you should be able to launch the Drupal instance on node port 30095. Next, proceed with the initial setup as we demonstrated in the Docker example. You will also be presented with the magic chat that will allow you to fix the Bravo scenario in the game of pods. Well, that's it for this video. Head over to the game scenario and start building the Drupal application on Kubernetes. Good luck! If you face any difficulty completing this challenge, check out my solution video next. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel before you go. Thank you.